Welcome to the Data Center Infrastructure Free Class. This part will guide you to understand the basics of transformer utilization in the data center industry. Transformers are essential to transmit and distribute power. They must transform three-phase voltage and provide a mechanism to break out single-phase power from three-phase power. To achieve both of these tasks, different types of transformers are used in data center industry. To refresh our memories, transformers are built by taking two wires and wrapping them around an iron core. Iron is used due to its magnetic qualities. AC power is supplied to the first wire, called the primary coil. As the current flows through the primary coil, it induces a current in the second wire, called the secondary coil. This phenomenon is called the law of induction. The strength of the induced current depends upon the number of times the second wire is wrapped around the iron core. By adjusting the number of turns on the secondary coil, the transformer's output current and voltage can be determined. In the data center industry, there is some type of transformer you need to know. The first is step-down transformer, then delta Y transformer, and isolation transformer. A step-down transformer will take the voltage coming into the transformer and produce an output of decreased voltage. For example, 20,000 volts come in and 480 volts go out. The transformation takes place without any electrical connection between the input and output. The step-up transformer works in a similar manner. The only difference is that the primary coil has fewer turns of windings than the secondary coil. In the case of the step-up transformer, the voltage coming into the transformer is less than the voltage going out of the transformer. Delta Y transformer is required to break out a single phase from a three-phase source. A delta to Y transformer takes in three phases and a ground, and it outputs three phases and a neutral. This transformer is usually found in the PDU panel. Isolation transformer is a transformer that contains an equal number of turns or windings in both the primary and secondary coils. It means the voltage coming into the transformer is equal to the voltage coming out of the transformer. This transformer is usually found in the PDU panel. Remember that within the transformer, the law of induction dictates that transformation takes place without any electrical connection between the input and output. The benefit of the isolation transformer is that it filters out electrical spikes on the input, thereby providing better power quality on the output. That's all the lesson on this video. If you have questions or corrections, do not hesitate to put them in the comment below. See you in the next video.